Hey everyone, Paul here, and in this video, we're gonna go a little experimental. Uh, there is a feature that is coming up in a future release of Blender that I am really excited about because it's gonna be a game changer for me in the way that I use the compositor to create comic style effects. So if you're not afraid to try an experimental branch of Blender, uh, why don't we jump in and get started? So I'm using this demonstration model with the free Eevee Manga shaders that I have available at Gumroad. So excuse the shameless plug just for a moment. Here is where you can get them. This page will be linked in the notes below this video. It is a free download. And so if you wanna create your own really cool comic style textures using the EV render engine. This is something that I've created specifically for you. Now, the one drawback with EV currently is that when you wanna use freestyle lines, they will be composited directly on top of your render. And there's no real way of separating them out to create any sort of other effects. They're kind of part and parcel of the entire render. However, in an upcoming version of Blender, this is going to change. So let's take a look at my node setup and you'll notice that here, inside of my render layers, Freestyle has its own output node. How cool is that? Now, how do we enable this? Well, the first thing we have to do is go over to blender.org and go to the downloads page. However, if you scroll all the way down, you'll have this little pink area called Go Experimental. And this is where we want to go. So we go download Blender Experimental, and this will take us to a page that looks very much like the download page, except that we've got this, Blender 2.83 Alpha. And as of today, February the 29th, is the build that is available. So go ahead and download it for your uh, platform. We download it and what I like to do is to actually stick it in like a documents folder in its own folder and you just unzip that file and then you can just run the executable uh, directly from that folder. So you don't really have to install it and it won't override your existing version. Now, the one precaution that I would advise is don't use the experimental or alpha versions for any production pipeline just yet. For the purposes of trying it out, the Blender page makes it fully available for you to download and have a play. And so we run that executable and I've opened up this file inside of that executable. Now I'm going to work in the EV engine because in cycles we know how this works and it will work exactly the same way, but EV is sort of where I really wanna show you uh, the improvements. I've got my render engine set Great, I've got my render sampling set. I want to enable freestyle. And I also want to enable another thing. I want to enable uh, Bloom, because what this does is it gives us these wonderful glow effects, and I want this. Now you will notice that I've only got one view layer here that I've called Color Pass. I haven't had to split off another view layer just to render the freestyle lines out. This is now unnecessary. Okay, so once you've enabled freestyle, uh, you can create all of your line sets and your, um, you know, any modifiers you might want to uh, put on there, uh, tweak all of your settings until they're just fine, uh, the, the way you want. And then under the first freestyle dialog box, there is this new feature under view map cache, tick as render pass. When you tick that, what happens in our nodes over here is that we get this little extra freestyle output in our render layers view layer. That's part one. But further down, you'll see that we've now got under uh, EV, we've got some diffuse specular and volume settings. We've got some emission environment and shadow settings and under effects, any of the effects that you uh, put on over here in your render properties will show up there and currently bloom is the one that is included and so we've ticked that so that we can have our bloom effect in there so i think that is now yep there it is bloom color that's also an output really really cool and sound now all we have to do is a render so let's go ahead and render that 
So here is our render. This is the image only render. And of course it doesn't have the freestyle lines on it, nor does it have the bloom effect. This is just basically the image. What we have to do is of course composite uh, the bloom color and the freestyle that we enabled here in our view layer properties. And that of course is simple enough. So I'm just gonna go shift A and add a mix color node. And I'm going to put the image in the top operation over here. I'm going to enable the alpha so that the second operation will go in that. And then the freestyle line work goes on top of that. Of course, the advantage of this is that now we can make that freestyle line work fairly faint if we wanted to. We can um, change, say, the, the operation over which the freestyle is overlaid onto that particular color pass. Uh, we can do all sorts of things to the freestyle line work uh, before it even gets to that because it is now its own output. That is really, really something. Now, just so that we can see it a little bit better, I'm go going to Shift D, duplicate this mix node, and I'm going to put the image on the second operation, and I'm going to give this a nice, lovely purple, a dark purple color uh, so that we can sort of see what's going on. And now I want to overlay our bloom color effect. So I'm going to select this mix node, Shift D to duplicate and bring it down the node tree. And I'm going to set this to add and make sure that our alpha is still um, enabled. And I'm going to introduce our bloom color. And there's our bloom effects, really nice and bright. And of course, we can drop the uh, intensity of that if we needed to, so that we've got full control over uh, that particular feature. I really want them quite high uh, because I really love these airbrush glow effects. And because they go over the top of the line work, uh, you get this very popular look that you see in comics these days with the airbrushing where the, the, the line work uh, is uh, definitely affected by the, the bloom of this kind of airbrushing and uh, reflective surfaces. And so this is how we uh, very quickly achieve this comic book style render using a freely available resource that I've got on Gumroad that you can create these comic style effects with and the next experimental build of Blender 2.83. Um, now I've provided links to both of those pages in the notes below this video. So you can go ahead and click on them, download everything you need to follow along with this tutorial. So I hope you got a lot out of that tutorial. Uh, as always, if you like what you see here, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel using the big subscribe button below this video. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Bye for now.